stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I had a lot of requests to do uh, the bookmark that I showed in the in color 2017 to 2019 in color reveal. So I just wanted to um, to do that request for you all. So if you ever have um, a, a request for a certain product reveal or a certain technique, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to make that happen. I love to hear from you all and see what you like to see. So here is the bookmark that I showed. You can see it's got all of the in colors in it. So this is the 2017 to 2019 in colors. And then it's got that fabulous little ribbon on top and it is in a clear plastic sleeve. So these were super, super easy to make. Um, I got the plastic sleeves off of Amazon. Um, so I will leave a link down below to where I got those. Uh, I thought they were fairly inexpensive. I think I got like a hundred or something like that in my set. So um, it is quite a few. There's probably smaller amounts that you can purchase if you're only looking to get a few. Um, they might be a little bit more expensive if you do get just a few versus getting them in bulk. So um, I will put a link down below for that. So let me show you. I know it's clear, but this is what it looks like. So it, um, this, the pocket actually doesn't start until about right here. So this top little triangle actually doesn't have the pocket in it. The pocket is just down low and then it's got the hole up top so you can add your ribbon to it. So then I, um, I did a Word document that has all of the information on there. So I did each of the five in colors as well as the Stampin' Up! logo and then of course my contact information there on the bottom. Again, I will leave a link down below so that you can see that. I was able to print five of these on one sheet of Whisper White cardstock. So it was really easy for me to be able to print those again in multiples since I was making so many of them. So I did uh, five to a sheet, printed them out, and then I just stamped the little flower, which is from the Colorful Seasons stamp set. So that's this stamp set here, and you can see the fabulous little flower. He's pink because I love pink, um, and I used him a lot in Berry Burst. Berry Burst seems to be a very strong staining, um, staining color. So, um, but I used this one here. So that little flower there was the one that I used for all of these, and I stamped it in each of the in colors. So we have powder pink and fresh, or I'm sorry, Tranquil Tide, and my super, super favorite, Berry Burst, and then my second favorite is Lemon Lime Twist. I'm super loving these two for uh, summertime because I just feel like they're so bright and cheery and fun. And then, of course, the last one is Fresh Fig. So I stamped each of those. Again, doing multiples makes it go a lot quicker. I stamped all of one color, then the next color, rather than, you know, cleaning in between each one um, to make each each one individually. So then I just slid that down into my bookmark sleeve. They are a little bit like static cling. Um, so the first time you do it, you know, it's kind of, you kind of have to push it down in there. So then that fits in there. It does have a little bit of wiggle room on the sides, but that's a good thing because then it slides in okay. And that's because I did five pieces to one sheet of um, Whisper White cardstock. Then I took a little piece of the ribbon, and I actually, I did one first and then measured. Um, so this is, I think it's like five to six inches, something like that. And so I just took the ribbon, folded it in half, and then coming from the back side to the front, you're going to loop it through, and then you're going to pop open that little loop and slide those ends in. So then you have that fabulous little little ribbon that sits on the top. I didn't need adhesive or anything for that. Um, it was just real simple and it's strong and holds very tight. So you're all good there. So that's how I created the the fabulous little bookmark for my in colors. I'm already out of the fresh fig. Everyone super loves that color. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite new in color is. Is it powder pink, fresh fig, berry burst, lemon lime twist, or tranquil tide? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, to see more of these colors in use. And I will see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye. Bye-bye.